nobody's against you so if you notice that your channel is not growing as it should or it's not even growing at all things are stagnant or worse off things are going down subscribers views revenue there are things that you should be doing that you're not doing or things that you shouldn't be doing that you're doing in this video we'll be looking at the major mistakes youtubers make that is either killing their channels or slowing down the growth and don't come to fight me and say hey dr malik i've been doing that thing you call a mistake and my channel is growing or you see that top youtuber is doing that there are some things that were working before that are no longer working there are some things that top youtubers do that you cannot afford to do they already have the audience poor video anatomy this is one thing that is common with great youtubers they start their videos abruptly and end their videos abruptly so there is little or no introduction and little or no conclusion unlike new youtubers who will have a lengthy introduction and you hear things like hello welcome to my youtube channel if you are a new subscriber here welcome if you are a returning subscriber here welcome remember to hit the like button and turn on the notification like share you don't see that with great youtubers they start the video content immediately they go straight to the content today in this video we will be doing blah 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 even for vloggers they go straight into the content without all the lengthy introduction or welcoming people to the channel or fancy logo animation and video intros or talking about yourself and they leave abruptly there's no summarizing of the video before you know it you are at the end of the video this will help your audience retention and will also help session time because you are ending by sending them to another video of yours poor pacing ignoring editing in this world of tiktoks reels and shorts where the attention span is almost non-existent you can't afford to make your videos boring and long without resetting people's attention span frequently you can't afford to have a video where it's just one scene just showing your face throughout every few seconds you must change something on the screen the pacing must be fast and good so in every few seconds there should be transitions b-roll images b-roll video clips sound effects text on screen subtitles zoom in zoom out change in camera angles change in scenes and so on poor storytelling growing youtubers are interesting to watch they are not boring this is very important instead of just asking how can i get interesting topics ask yourself how can i make this topic interesting even if you're an educational channel you should be able to up your storytelling game so make the topic come alive with an interesting twist with an interesting angle don't be just educational be entertaining instead of just saying five ways to do this and that see how you can weave in some storytelling how mr x did this and that and still go ahead to give your five ways and even if you're a vlogger or a lifestyle youtuber you can't afford to just be all over the place random and spontaneous with your vlogs great vloggers have a way of spinning a thread of story through the vlogs there's usually a payoff a moral of the story so they're not just randomly telling you how they went to the market or how they bought this or what that or did this there is a story they are weaving weak content value or weak topics one thing i tell my student is if your videos are not strongly entertaining or strongly educating or strongly informative forget about it don't do that video if you're an educational channel don't come and give us lame common knowledge things people already know like you want to talk about weight let's say it's healthy exercise those are common knowledge try to give us something groundbreaking new and fresh in the now well researched if you are a news channel or a channel where you dish out information make sure that your news and your information is new and fresh and trending breaking news make sure that your topic is strong based on strong need or strong desires throbbing questions problems that keep people awake at night a problem that makes them go to prayer houses something that is trending not a topic that has low volume or very few people are asking for fake engagement there's a policy called the fake engagement policy they frown at practices that involves you desperately looking for ways to grow your channel views and subscribers without it based on 
people genuinely finding your content and liking it. This is how YouTube wants your channel to grow. They want you to make videos that are so good that people themselves will want to watch, that they so love your content, so enjoy your content, that they will share with others, that they will go ahead and look for other videos of yours to watch. That is how YouTube wants you to grow your channel. Any other thing will most likely fall under what they call fake engagement and they hate it. So things that involves you buying subscribers, buying views, group subscription, where you gather yourself and subscribe to one another's channel, like sub for sub, or even desperately begging people to go and view and subscribe because you are forcing people to engage with your videos without them genuinely liking your videos. This way you have engagement, but these people are not loyal subscribers, meaning that they will not be avid consumers of of your content rushing to watch your videos and that is what makes your channel grow fast and this is because after someone subscribes to your channel youtube will test that subscriber by showing them your content and see how they react to the content and your content is not something they're interested in that will make your subscriber count to drop it will affect the growth of your channel because youtube will now deem your channel as not good enough poor promotion one thing that limits the growth of channels for new youtubers especially is because they just come in post their videos and go away this is not tiktok youtube encourages you to promote your videos free promotion by hitting the share button to distribute the content to targeted groups the problem is spamming uninteresting people with your videos and some of them will click out of sympathy or out of curiosity only for them to land on content they are not interested in that will hurt your channel the key here is to be able to gather targeted people people interested in your topic and your videos and share your videos with them immediately after you post it on youtube so the problem is not promoting and not promoting to a targeted interested group or list wrong niche or no niche if today you post on health tomorrow you post on politics next day you post on religion and then on love and sex and you know whatever you might find it extremely difficult to grow on youtube you post on health today you gather health lovers people interested in health topic and tomorrow you post on politics youtube will take your politics video and share to the same people who watched your health videos and youtube will notice they are not interested the algorithm will interpret that that as meaning that your videos are bad and the channel is bad. It sees your channel as one thing and recommends and suggests all of your videos to all the subscribers or you are in a forced niche or wrong niche you just chose the niche because everybody is going there or you discover that there's a popular youtuber in that niche it's not something you are proficient in you are not good in it you don't have the knowledge the skills and the experience it's not something that you are passionate about it's not as if you love the topic it's just shiny object syndrome going from one thing to the other wrong focus one thing that might be affecting your growth is overly concerned about numbers and about money. So why tie your self-worth to numbers and all these vanity metrics? If you are desperately looking for money, YouTube is not the first place to start. YouTube needs time, persistent, patience, and you have to be focused on value, on genuinely helping people, genuinely enjoying creating videos. If you are so focused on refreshing to see your view count and subscribers, it might push you to become inconsistent because you get discouraged and it could lead you to breaking the rules trying to look for shortcuts and wrong cuts so get your focus right on value on content on passion on enjoying the process rather than on views and subscribers they will come if your content is great poor branding your channel is not well optimized not fully customized not well branded it's not beautiful this is what I usually tell my students when people land on your channel in the first few seconds they should be clear on what your channel is about and what they should expect and secondly they should have a certain feeling about your channel in the first few seconds and you'll be able to achieve this with consistency of your branding of your colors of your fonts of your styles in a way that shows seriousness and deliberateness and organization this will help with your growth as opposed to coming to a channel that is all over the place with no focus with no consistency or branding 
poor audio visual experience people are on youtube to get an experience it could be improvement in knowledge or for entertainment if your audio and your visuals come in the way then it will affect the growth of your channel poor audio terrible background noise unclear audio or a loud background music or using things like ai voice text to speech automated voice all those machine voices youtube prefers real human voice you have poor lighting where your face and your features are not clear or the light is not sufficient or properly placed or there's poor framing where you are not located on your screen properly your video is shaky and blurry and grainy or your background is distracting or not appealing you know you can see how appealing my background is people have poor audio and visual experience consistently they will just run away from your channel no matter how interesting the content is poor consistency it helps with your discipline muscle you are developing your muscle of character if you are not consistent in your style in your posting in your niche or if you stay off youtube for too long or you are erratic with your hosting it's a bad signal to the algorithm and to your viewers and even to yourself follow the old youtube rule of posting at least once every week ignoring search it is still very relevant especially if you're a new youtuber don't ignore search and trends this will help you to grow faster so spend a few minutes not more than a few minutes to get particular search terms terms people search when they are looking for the content you are creating personally i use tubebuddy and vidIQ. You could also use the YouTube drop down auto suggestion and get a particular keyword or key phrase. Put it in your title, your description, your tags, in the playlist, in your thumbnail if possible. Save your video files and your thumbnail files with that search keyword and mention the keyword verbally. My students know what I'm talking about and how to rank your videos properly. Ignoring click through rate you see if people don't click they don't watch so no matter how awesome or great your videos are if you don't increase the tendency of people the likelihood of people to click on your thumbnails and your titles you are hurting your videos and your channel and this boils down to at least two things your titles and your thumbnails and new youtubers are very very likely to ignore thumbnails and titles they post the videos sometimes without a thumbnail or with a thumbnail they casually created and then they just write any title learn how to create magnetic thumbnails and magnetic titles that are intriguing suspenseful and people get restless if they don't click inappropriate style if you are doing a faceless video when you shouldn't be maybe in an industry where trust is very important like a real estate industry and you're doing a faceless video that is is an inappropriate style for that kind of content or if you are using just audio with no visuals at all that is not an appropriate style for youtube or if you are doing an extremely long content you have not been proven without any shadow of doubt that you are very very interesting you are hurting your channel because people will click away and your average view duration will low we are starting a podcast of an hour long or 30 minutes and you are not that engaging to keep people watching for a long period of time forget about what any other coach is telling you you are hurting yourself so it's very important you understand what your content type is and what your content style is and make sure that it matches properly and click here to watch this video that the youtube algorithm thinks you need to watch is suggesting this video for you click here to watch it play big and i'll see you on the next one